Hello dear friends, the enlightenment of the self, which used to cost hard penances and sacrifices, is today much more accessible than in the whole history of humankind, due to the powerful incoming energies. Opinion piece. The awakening of force. It's not easy at first. Expecting something big. Things are heating up. It's happening right now. It's all too quiet. Enlightenment comes at the price, but the price is worth it. You feel the force is with you. It's not a science fiction movie. It is the worldwide awakening of consciousness. It unfolds when the soul matches with God. Consciousness emerges when energy awakens. In instant philosophy, it is the awakening of the Kundalini. God has wonders to show us if we take a step to a faith. Let's start. The awakening of the force is happening right now. It is about the awakening of consciousness, not the science fiction movie. If you have ever felt the need to make a holistic transformation in your life, chances are you you are experiencing the awakening of consciousness today spiritual awakening is taking place in leaps and bounds upon humankind as many people are waking up blind folds are falling off and truth is coming to light something great and wonderful is happening within each being and consequently throughout humankind according to binks who have already lived experiences of a spiritual awakening, it is about living in the here and now, based on knowledge and self-discovery of the inner self. In the process of this awakening, one must empty oneself of the old, to make way for the new. If there is a resistance to remain in fear, then it alerts your soul, your heart and your body through physical or emotional illness. There is nothing more beneficial than accepting reality as it presents itself, no matter what is left in the way, as life can be fraught with negative things that detrimentally influence the evolution of every living being. So, awakening consciousness will help to see the positive side of life, as for when what we expect will happen, it is always a question in the mind of many living beings. There is nothing wrong in following and summarizing opinions from collected data. All we know today is that everything is eerily quiet, too quiet, I would say. They say something big could happen this Monday, but I don't believe it until I see it. All I know is that we have never being as close as we are now. It's not easy. At first, it's not easy, because it takes a real effort to uproot yourself from everything that doesn't serve in your evolution. But there are always living beings and divine guides that help and accompany us in this process. But the effort and the progress depends largely on you. When you Take a risk and launch yourself is when you discover yourself, is when a sleeping giant awakens inside you, when you say enough of waiting and take action without having all the answers, knowledge or guarantees, according to Paco Alarcón Cajan, there comes a time in life when you have to say enough, enough of complaining, enough of blame, enough of criticism, because Blame, complaining, criticism and negativity never achieved any victory or anything important in life. There are moments of despair, when you feel trapped by doubt or intense pain, when fear attacks mercilessly to steal your dreams and illusions. Those are the moments when you have to raise your head with dignity, look up and challenge life itself 
with determination to prove to yourself that you are bigger than all the problems that arise. You are much more powerful than you think. That is the moment you wake up to your super self, to your super powers. It is those moments of crisis when you have to make emotional or perhaps irrational decisions. It is those profound decisions born from the heart that change the course of life and of your history. It is then when you feel that the force is with you. Kundalini In the instant philosophy, the awakening of the force is the awakening of the Kundalini, of which Carl Gustav Jung also spoke. The vital energy is represented as a serpent coiled in a spiral and is sleeping at the base of the spine or Muladhara chakra. When Mata Kundalini or Kundalini Shakti is awakened, awareness of the world emerges. The Kundalini as the primordial energy or Shakti that comes to full development by reuniting in the soul of or Atman with Brahma or Creator God. Several spiritual traditions of the world use this concept of Kundalini, Yoga, Tantra, Buddhism, Taoism, Sikhism and Gnosticism. Kundalini Yoga is a physical, mental and spiritual discipline based on different yogic paths such as Raya Yoga, Shakti Yoga, Kriya Yoga and Nada Yoga or development of the Nadi channels or rivers of energy within the body. The Nadis are a network of channels existing in the subtle body, through which prana or vital energy flows. To advance in Kundalini or in any other type of yoga, it is necessary to begin with purifying all the Nadis. There are thousands of them, of which three are the main ones the central channel or Sushuma, and the Ida and Pingala, which are the two lateral channels represented in the caduceus of Mercury, as two zigzagging serpents. The purpose of Kundalini Yoga is to awaken the dormant Kundalini and raise it gradually towards the Sahasrara Chakra through the central channel Sushuma in order to awaken from consciousness the great creative potential latent in every living being to achieve authentic happiness. Yogis use for this purpose certain techniques, mantras, kriyas, asanas, pranayamas and meditation or dhyana on the chakras, mudras or gestures and strong willpower. Selfless service or karma yoga is also part of the discipline that I follow practicing my profession. Symptoms Physical sy sy symptoms Among the physical symptoms of a spiritual awakening are aches and pains that are projected mostly in the back, neck and shoulders as a synonym of changes in raising consciousness. Another symptom is the disorientation and in a determined space, since the body is not in a, in a specific place. As far as sleep is concerned, usual patterns appear, developing deep and entrance reveries on the one hand and waking up suddenly in the early morning on the other hand. This is a sign of the mental release demonstrated by the person. Psychological symptoms, feelings such as sadness, insecurity, short episodes of depression, loneliness and loss of enthusiasm are signs produced by the intense change that is generated in the process. Spiritual symptoms. The most important are the liberation of karmas and problems of the past. This originates to give way to the recharge of spiritual energy affected by the state of lethargy. It is very important to forgive oneself for past mistakes. Signals Signs that you are waking up according to Abigail Cabrejos. First, a flame is lit on your heart 
and everything starts to make sense in your life. Second, you awaken a love for everything and everyone. You become more aware, compassionate and caring for all of life. Third, you feel an incomparable empathy for yourself and those around you. Fourth, material things no longer have so much importance and take a back seat. Five, you are now more interested in the things of your soul. Six, you feel that you no longer fit in places and with people that you used to. Seven, this leads to you to enjoy and spend more time alone, away from external noises. Eight, you begin to take charge of your life free from external manipulations and attachments, whether family, social environment, etc., including television. 9. Because of this, detachment is born, and therefore there is no more suffering. 10. You become interested in readings that feed your soul, and you lose interest in gossip, writings, and ephemeral magazines. 11. There is a growing interest in finding your life purpose on earth. 12. You care for and nourish your soul, body and mind from a healthy diet. 13. You have, you have learned and remembered that to live in drama is to live from fear, and now you decide to live from love. 14. God has wonderful things to show us if we take a step of faith in his direction. Reset News First, expecting something big, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba warned Friday that Russian President Vladimir Putin may announce something big on Monday. Victor Day but assured that Ukrainian authorities are ready for any scenario. Second, Zimbabwe president to copy Russia's currency strategy, says Ray Dlovo. Zimbabwe president Emerson Nangawa is trying to emulate Russian president Vladimir Putin in his bid to revive Africa's West reforming currency. Russia's attempts to bolster the rubble by demanding payment for gas and oil in its own currency, along with strict capital controls, have protected the rubble, but Zimbabwe's attempts to shed its dependence on the dollar may be more difficult. The Western powers, in qu in quotes, the Western powers have met their match in Putin, who demands payments for gas and oil in rubbles. Nangawa said, in quotes again, so now we are telling our industrialists all these big companies, any investor coming here, that they must buy using the Zimbabwean dollar. US dollars are used to pay almost everything in Zimbabwe, from food to fuel, medicine and road tolls. Workers, including teachers and bank employers, have since early this year demanded dollar wages to cover living costs set in foreign currency. Zimbabwe ran a trade deficit of $1.2 billion last year, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. That compares with, with a surplus of $203 billion from Russia in the same period. Even Nangawa's government has previously, previously been criticized for undermining its own currency in favor of the US dollar by paying its workers in foreign currency. Under the new measures, it will increase payment in local currency for services, including obtaining passports, paying import duties and taxes. An agreement has already been reached with the Treasury. Guangyaya said the local currency officially trades at 159.34 to the dollar and has lost a third of its, its value this year. On the parallel market, it sells from $400, $400 to the dollar, I mean. Third, the Vatican 
eliminated 40 books from the Bible. In 1964 and 1966, respectively, the American Bible Society and the British and Foreign Bible Society eliminated all restrictions against the Apocrypha. No religious organization has the authority to alter the scriptures. Saint Jerome was the one who altered the placement of the books by order of the Pope. He placed the work of Paul of Tarsus ahead of the central gospels in order to change Christianity to Paulinism. The confusion was eliminated once and for all by placing the books back in their original inspired order with ample explanations of many mistakes. Opinions First, according to Stefan, things are heating up in the world and no one, and no one can say anymore that nothing is happening. And yet, we are asked to be patient in the face of complaints and frustration. Everyone is where he should be and does what he should do. Second, information war. We are in an information war and its path is disinformation. Neither side is revealing battle plans or much truth. This is where research, decoding and reading be between the lines comes in. Everyone is speaking in code and in countless layers to the awake, the sleeping and their own. Third, a strange war. If the psychopaths had their way, there would no longer be real mothers. There would be no families, no sexes, no real humankind left. In their world, the family unit no longer exists. We are all hermaphroditic, obedient slaves, mind-controlled and programmed, with hardly a thought among us. They could make slaves in cloning facilities. No procreation will be, would be required between male and female. No love, no care, no compassion, no humankind. 4. The bubble of everything but gold and silver must implode. There are times, there are times in history where precious metals not only offer a safe haven from volatility but also offer the maximum gains in purchasing power according to Mike Maloney. 5. Mary L. opines, the quantum brain will know if the wrong thing is being attempted, maybe even before you think about it. The world, as we know it, is about to go back to the way it used to be for us. How it is in the universe for our families who do not live here, many of whom are here now on purpose to help lift us up. 6. Gold Leacox Update Russian government bonds are starting to show more activity overnight on the QFS platforms, but have not been activated yet. These bonds will provide liquidity to their currency and the virtual asset finance system. This will have a profound effect on trading with other countries around the world. 7. According to Road to Ruta, there are no free markets anymore. All, mar all markets are run by software through the Exchange Stabilization Fund in coordination with the big banks. The only way to cope is to have your assets in your possession and sit on the sidelines and watch the program in the hope that it will end soon. 8. The threats of deception according to Doc P. In history, we see patterns that, that repeat over and over again. We see the powerful ruthless with the lives of the innocent. We see a concealment of altered information so as, to, as not to give a truth, but the narrative that protects those involved while drawing the humble to the wolves. 9. Trojan horse. According to Jonas Sabin, before he died, 
McAfee was in conflict with the IRS, so he had put a worm, a Trojan horse inside the computer program that he gave to officials who were working inside the government, that reveals a large-scale criminal activity. He created a dead man's switch that was activated the moment he died and no one can stop it. He himself announced before he died that, in quotes, I have a dead man's device. All of this will come out later somewhere and your children, grandchildren and nieces and nephews will ask you what you did to free the world. You will, you will be able to answer. I help wake people up and I didn't give up. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.